Hey guys, Command Freak here, and today I'm going to show you a lever combination that you can change without going into the redstone, but that works behind the scenes. So, so I'm going to show you how to build it. Actually, first I'll show you how it works. It, th right now, this is the correct password on this one. And it's opened the door. This is just something that I will show you at the end of the video. Um, this, minus the door, this is how it, it works. So, right, as you can see, this is not the correct combination. This is the correct combination currently. But if you flick this lever, then you can make the combination whatever you want, like maybe it's that. And then put the lever back. You see that's not the correct combination, but this is the correct combination. And if I go to the old combination, as you can see it doesn't work. Only this combination works. So yeah, now I'm gonna show you how to build it. So you'll need well for the door itself what you'll need is what you see in my end in my hotbar here for the combination lock itself um redstone lamp is optional but i just like to use it so how you build it is you go a two tall wall that is as many levels as you want wide plus two and on that second one that you add, I'm just going to get rid of this tree here. On the second, so it's as wide as you want the, uh, to be levers, plus one, and then another one with the redstone lamp, and this is where the changing lever thing will be. And then behind it, you go from this wall one, two, three, four, and then mine down to two, 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 and then as like as wide as you want there to be levers. So this is four wide, and there are four levers, and then three, three, turn to the right, two, one. And then what you want is behind the levers, the thing, the blocks underneath the ones that have the levers on them like this, you place repeaters on four ticks, or fold, uh, the full delay. Oh, and they point into some observers. And on... And then one above those observers have there be blocks. And then on top of those blocks have there be redstone. And then have it be going one more to the left or the direction where the changing lever thing is. And then over here have there be sticky pistons on the side that's closest to the pit thing but keep this last block open without a sticky piston on top of those sticky pistons have there be blocks and then place a block to the left or the closest side to the changing lever thing of the last observer and then have there be a redstone torch on top of that Powering those stick, those sticky pistons, and then have there be sticky pistons here too, while it's op while those sticky pistons are active, so that if you um have this uh, observer power, it can go through this block and into this piston. Have there be redstone blocks on top of the pistons, and then down here at the bottom of the pit, place redstone on the floor. And then when it goes to three, you place redstone torch. And then the other three, place redstone, redstone. And on this last step, actually have a sticky piston with a block on top of it. 
Now for the part where you can change the lever thing, you place a block there, and then a block, and then blocks there. So a block behind the block that has the changing lever thing on it, and then behind it have there be four blocks not going past this part of the wall. Everything will be not past this. And then place three redstone there, and then a repeater going into the block that has the redstone torch on it. And then place a repeater behind the block that has the changing lever on it. And then that should be it. You can take a redstone output from this. And yeah, that's it. But it, now I'm going to show you how to attach it with a door. So how you do it is you need a door, probably a pressure plate, and then you probably want a lever if you want to lock the door. You will need repeaters, you will need blocks, you will not need observers, you won't need redstone blocks, you might need sticky pistons. And you actually might need redstone torches. You will need redstone. And yeah. So how you do it is you build the door next to this. And then have the door be automatically open. So that if you power it, it is closed. And then to power the door, to close and open the door, have there be a redstone torch powering the block with the door on it, and then have there be a line of redstone leading to the um, redstone torch, so a line of redstone. And then right here, you place a block down. And then, so that will power the redstone torch. And yeah, you can place two, wait, no. Then you also need a, um, a redstone torch to invert the signal again so that this will be open. You can fill in those and then you can place a pressure plate not before the door otherwise when you stand up the pressure plate it will close the door but one before that so let's say the password is incorrect yet you're still in here you can go onto this pressure plate to go on out. Now, if you want to um, make a lock, there are two ways you could do it. One way, let's just continue this corridor thing here. One way to make it would be to... Um, To place a lever right here so that you know you um it will close the door like let's say you have the correct password you can flick this lever and it will lock the door but if you want for some reason when the door is locked you can still use this pressure plate then how you will do it is um once again there are two ways one way is more complicated, and there's no really benefit to it, so I don't really like that way. Um, and then there's another way. How you how you do it is you have redstone leading from this um, lever down these step things, and then it will go down. 
into there and it will power that and yeah that's it that's the other locking way so now if I click this it will close yet yeah, if I stand on the press plate it will still open of course if you lock it and then for some reason you go outside there's no real, real way to open the door other than like breaking the door down so yeah that's it for today i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next